that sign behind me. So we are at Silver Dollar City, baby. Let's get these rides. for launch. Hold on. speechless with the spark what do you think silver dollar city it's awesome definitely the highlight of our <laughs> uh, of our trip this just destroys any other theme park in this country i it's love the shade in here too god like it's everything you go, you'll find perfect it. it's yeah it's beautiful such a beautiful park very scenic just relaxing <laughs>
say we better run for our time. Howdy, folks. Howdy. That's a whole lot more gooder. Welcome to Cinemar City's Marble Cave. We're about to go on a fun trip with a roller out there before we got to tell you some things. Behind I me, mean, because that's what you're about to explore, we're out right here in this round building. If you're in Barker, you're going to walk down 94 stairs and into the cave itself. Yes. Doing it in this giant chamber here is going to take a 200 stairs to get the bottom of that. Doing that, make our way to the room right here. Where I'm going to shut the lights on with you all and let you all see what the total darkness looks like. I'll turn the lights back on. Hopefully, it'll come back on. You'll then walk us towards your staircase. We get, when we get to the bottom of that, we have 500 people on service, 500 stairs down, check out a 50 foot tall waterfall lit up in color changing lights. Pretty neat. You will then go across the mud tunnel, and we're going to find ourselves at the bottom of our Huff and Pump staircase. We're going to find ourselves at the bottom of our Huff and Pump staircase. That's about a 15 story climb up to the cave to get to this great hill train. And if it's working, it's going to haul us out of the cave, take us to the hill, take us to the ground, and we're right up here. Oklahoma, we're at in Oklahoma. We're at? Woodward. Woodward? Yeah, I've been through there too. Well, looks like everybody. All right, folks, once again, my name is Brian. below us. This room is so big that we can fit a 20 story building here as wide as a city block, or if one could we had the Statue of Liberty in here, the base down there, took her over, and her big torch mounted hole in the ceiling right up there. <laughs> now we call it the cathedral because of the vast size, but also there's great acoustics. Everyone tests it out really quickly. On a count of three, on air I show a howdy as loud as you can, facing that direction. Nope. Ready, here we go. One, two, three. Howdy! howdy. But aren't they pretty cool though? It is neat. Yeah, you can it's the tent is similar than it's tall. But I'll tell you a better picture. In 1994, Marble Cave celebrates 100th anniversary cave tours of 100 years. And to celebrate, they decided to fly not just one, not just two, but five full-size hot air balloons in this room all at the same time. Wow. Five of them. At the end of the tour, I have four grab them all five together in one frame and have to show it to you. It's pretty cool. Well, we had our 100th anniversary back in 1994. Well, I was the tour started way back in 1894, and they sure did. And folks, it was already a cave tour, so it looked a whole lot different for you what to do nowadays. Back then, well, this cave had no lights inside of it, had no concrete floors, no metal handrails, nor had that lovely steel tower up there. And this is what the cave looks like. There was natural, natural sunlight hours during the daytime. That's a good picture right there. <laughs> now, back in 18, 1894, this cave was owned by a family named the Lynch family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if you need to. Katie watches her head. I don't. No, this is not made by us. This is all made by a river that came through a long time ago. Yeah, it's still nice and short. One big river system. I see. No, I can't see a salamander. Maybe. He said there's three different types of salamanders there. I'm watching where I'm going. You're going to find salamanders in the more wet areas. Water. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you what real darkness looks like here in a second. And we came in. But come on in, guys. Check out this room. There's a lot of history to cover in here. Thank you. Fun stuff. All right. Any questions before we head further? Curiosity? 
Right over here is one of the favorite parts of this cave, the Lost River Canyon. Got that thing out about two years to map it in its entirety. Today, if you want to go all the way back and back this way, it take about five days in total. And for a lot of caves, the Devil's Den, because they weren't a fan of vertical caves like this. Right. They didn't like the ones they could walk into and walk back out, but they never left the twilight zone where you can see the sun like that. Uh huh. They did not like caves like this at all. And sometimes, uh, there's a lot of mud in this area, you can still see it on the walls. This right here would be about shin deep, almost knee deep in mud walking through this. Hmm. They didn't dig out rock, they just had to get rid of a lot of mud out of here. There's a bunch of formations all together. He makes sending way up that way too. We also have the three main food groups of the cave down here. The first food group we have is the Lovey Cave Bacon. Wow, right there. That does look like bacon. Sure does. Wow. You also have an upside down ice cream cone right up there too. That's the second food group. And our third food group is the cave popcorn we have right there. So we got three food groups. Bacon, ice cream, popcorn, all together. This is the last one. Go on in here. Then we're going to have see where we walk up from. Looks like the Sarlacc pit from Star Wars. Got it here in three, two, one, point five. All right, let's jump the feet in the streets of the middle. Keep going, here we go.
Yeah. Yeah, I, I recorded it the other day, but we were in the back, so gotcha. they didn't get good footage of it. I feel you. Oh boy. I don't think I've rode on the front on this one, so it's going to be interesting. Oh, oh that pill. I'd smoke out of that. Yeah. 